Hello guys, this is Bruce Borchi Poover from the Comic Clown with me. Kyle Dark Kuchka the Bugger. And we got two special guests with us today. We've got Chris Rager and Josh Martin. And if you guys don't know who the hell they are, they're the voice of Mr. Hercule, as I know him. Mr. Torque. As he knows him. And then we also have Josh Martin voices all the booze. And Barney. Oh my so god. Pretty much anything that anything that's pink or purple that causes destruction. Actually, <laughs> actually, you're in the suit. Be accurate. I was in the suit. Oh, I didn't do super. Oh, you did? I did not do super. I did just oh. and fat. Oh, because they actually want, they wanted you to do funny voices. They're not giving you the good voice at that point. Yeah, right, right. They barely gave me any lines to begin with. That's terrible. Um, but you two are really good friends. Looks from familiar, don't I? As, as Samurai Dan starts coming over here for a second. <laughs> Samurai Dan, how's it going? Alrighty. But you two, I was talking to earlier, it's like you two are super good friends, and they found it kind of funny. Like, there's, did you two just get into the booth and meet each other, or did you do something before each other? Uh, Josh and I met in acting school about 22 years ago, uh, and uh, became friends. Uh, we had several comedy troops together in Dallas that we created, and then performed uh, many, many places. And, uh, I actually put the part of Hercule uh, back in like 99, and then when the Boo Saga came around, until that part. Chris Sabbath came to one of our shows, and uh, I was doing a character called the Pillsbury Doughboy. Basically, a Pillsbury Doughboy gets jumped on the way to school by the Keebler Elves, makes him mad, and turns him into a gangster rapper. <laughs> I'll take it, that's awesome. Can we get a sample of that? Nothing says loving like the blood I be puffing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. That's great. Um, of your guys' characters, like, who's your favorite too? Uh, I'm, you know, Mr. Satan's my first, so he's kind of near and dear to my heart, so I am definitely Mr. Satan. I mean, they're all fun. They all, they, I enjoy them all in their own different ways, but Hercule was my first. So. What about yours, sir? Definitely Fat Boo. Fat Boo? Yeah. I, can, you, can you give me a Fat Boo voice? Because like, I hear you now, you're just low, the low tone voice, man. And like, and that's why I told you, like I said, I met you 15 years ago just about uh, on the Hummer tours, and I go look at you, I'm like, you're a bald headed guy with a goatee, I'm like, that's not, that's not Boo. That's not, and then you just hit me with it, and I'm just like, he wins. I'm done. I get that all the time. Do one for us, I do a little See, that, that was always the main for us. Um, I mean, That's why it's my favorite. How do you guys feel about your character losing on Death Battle, but yours winning? Uh, you're, you <laughs> lost on Death Battle? Kirby actually beat yeah, Kirby, 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 Kirby beat Boo. Yes. Kirby beat Boo. How do they, how do they justify uh, that? Justify the fact that he took a frying pan that was three times the size of a skyscraper with a giant fish in it and threw it around the moon and back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Kirby's apparently a lot stronger than we thought. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he, I have no idea why he didn't turn him into a Right. I know, right? They, they didn't do that and that pissed me off. I, like, I was like, why didn't he just eat him? No one can tell that. It seemed that that would have been the first thing that happened. <laughs> and it's like, death, death battle over. <laughs> I know. Uh, Thanks for a short death battle, though. Well, I, I'm glad I won. Yeah, uh, Hercule. I like the justification they made because at the end of the day, Hercule is a champion. Dan Abiki's never won a thing in his life. <laughs> it was uh, awesome. Uh, it was except for a least favorite character in Street Fighter. <laughs> the, per the pink key, the pink key is awesome. <laughs> Mr. Tor, are you? Uh, you came in as a DLC. Yes. And how did you feel when hey, Grant, told you told me that he was going to be a real Hold character? This he's to be. He's Borderlands like, you're actually now. Borderlands is now. Show up in the like the, yeah. the dragons keep stuff. Uh, well, it's in the beginning, the board was just going to be a vending machine. Yeah. Uh, so later they liked so much, they, we laughed so much at the vending machine stuff, they're like, we want more of that, so they gave him his own DLC, uh, and then eventually brought me back in every DLC, and then the fact that I did actually sort of pop up uh, as a real person, not a calm communication. Uh, I guess there was a little bit earlier in that first one, uh, when I sort of interrupt Tannis, uh, <laughs> as she's trying to tell you the name of this area, I'm like, no, it's the, the badass the creator. The badass creator, badass, 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 badass. Uh, So you do get to see him move around there, but you can actually see him come out and like, they put him in the stocks, and he tells you to go blow up the ocean. Blow up the 
the blimps that are a part of the town, and the and the Right. And then he has a little fangirl moment at the end. Who is that? Did you get the voice grabber for I did not. <laughs> I, mean, I get asked that a lot, and I really have no idea who did voice grabber I did enjoy. I did enjoy that part of sitting down for 15 minutes. Let's see the grandma tour, grandma on the ship. Having to answer her questions correctly. Right. It's good to get everything. Uh, crazy question. This is for the ongoing series for Dragon Ball Street. Yes. Um, and, um, that's the same question to go towards you about your characters. How do you feel about her people going from the loud mouth, showboating uh, guy that takes credits for everything and is now turning into the loving grandfather that only cares about like taking care of Pam? Well, I enjoy that there's a little bit of a shift. You know, I kind of could tell as the, the Moon Saga was sort of wrapping up that Hercule was, because of the marriage with Gohan and Fidel and all that stuff, that, okay, I was like, I'm, I'm now one of the crew. I'm a part of the team yeah. now. Uh, so I could already kind of tell there was a bit of a shift or a transition, but the, I mean, what I've enjoyed about it so far is that Boo and Satan live together and it's sort of like this odd couple kind of <laughs> situation, you know, Boo comes in, I'm hungry, he's messy, does crappy, interrupts things, and then I gotta like calm him down and, and make him happy and peace him and stuff. It's so. like having your own second grandchild. Right, right. It's like having another child, exactly. So. How do you feel about, like, in Dragon Ball Super, like I said, they, uh, we were talking before about we're going to have Boo in there and you're excited to see him fight again because Fat Boo was always so powerful. And, and, yeah, he gets his butt kicked by Beerus, but everyone got their butt kicked by Beerus. But then, like, in that tournament, that's upcoming series that they're doing, like, they have him there and you're like, oh, we're going to see Boo fight again. And then they take him out by a test. I mean, I don't know if you guys, did you ever watch that part? I have not gotten that far. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm I mean, sorry. We have not, not, we have not recorded that part. It's, a, it's something that happened and I was like, they got Boo there and they're like, Boo, you can't spell your own name. He's like, why did I ever need to learn that? I've been like, so they put him back into a side role versus being like a main fighter. Because that would have been awesome. Go Boo, Vegeta, Piccolo, Boo. And it's like, there's your world. I feel, I feel like Boo is going to pop in there at some point, you know? I, I mean, I hope he comes back and starts doing some more work. Because Boo is always great. Boo is the Boo and B, that dog. That, if you did not cry at that scene between Hercule and, the, and Boo and that dog and that dog getting shot, you're a liar, okay? <laughs> you're, you're a liar. Everyone remembers that scene. And Boo lost it and then that. I, I, I'm sure it was Then you got some coming out. Yeah. Oh, no. I was young at that time. But um, you guys, any final words for us? Anything you guys like to say? Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Keep watching. We got Dragon Ball Super coming up. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Watch it, stream it on. Go get your Funimation channel with subscriptions like five bucks, losers. Can do it. Uh, anyway, quit stealing your anime. Right. They need to eat. Right. Chris, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Josh again, thank you. Appreciate Once again, this is Bruce Sporty with the Comic Clouds and Dark Pooch with me as well. You guys have a great one. We'll see you later.